They got really comfortable. The whole class um, would go at once and got over their anxiety of if somebody's listening to me. And because everybody's going at the same time, um, they didn't have that, you know, senior, can I do this after school? Can I do this privately? Um, and when it came time to give the apple, that was a non-issue, which was perfect. Hi, I am Nicole and I am from the Baldensville uh, Central School District in Central New York State. And we have been using Extemporary for a few years now. Uh, so I started using it when I took over um, the AP Spanish class and my colleague who does AP French also um, started at the same time as I did. And we were looking for a way to mimic AP prompts and add that um, timing effect um, that um, a few other platforms we've played with didn't offer. See. So I like to use, um, I started principally with the um, voice recording and the audio recording with students having to do mini presentations. And, um, you know, I start slow and have them, um, allow them to have multiple chances to record. But as the year progresses, I start to take that away. And so they have a one shot at it. Um, and it also works great uh, if I have a sub and I'm not available um, that they can kind of go on autopilot, especially once they've um, been comfortable with the platform and they know how to log in and all that good stuff. Um, I've also, um, you know, we've talked with the students. I have uh, 11th and 12th graders. So we, we have some workarounds if I have a sub and they need to problem solve, I'm not right there. So it's not a high stress um, anxiety ridden for them or for me when I come back. Um, since doing that, um, we have started um, using it more with our level four students as well. Um, it's a pre-AP class, that's not the name of it, but that's essentially what it is. So why not get them started and trained on what they're going to be doing for those who continue on to the upper level of AP. And so there, my students are even more comfortable with it if they continue on with me in AP. Um, and then this past year, we decided to give uh, all our level one through four students the Apple exam through ACTFL. Um, as a final exam, we kind of piloted it as an experimental year. Um, and so I thought the extemporary um, experience was even better because they had, they all had that experience. And I added the, um, uh, the writing as well because the Apple is all computerized. Um, the AP exam, although is still written by hand, I haven't used that as much with those classes. Um, but those level four students who were taking the Apple got the idea of typing on it. Um, and when I go to grade it, I found it really um, user-friendly to grade and have my Google Classroom um, right next to it, um, kind of split my screen. So if I was on a hall duty, if I was in a study hall, I could easily grade things without lugging papers back and forth at home as well. Um, so I think that idea of how to put a timer to um, the students writing and also the um, speaking and kind of give them that practice that they can't go on forever. They can't get a bunch of redos. Um, I also, um, it has synced this year. It syncs with Google Classroom, which my school uses. So that is lovely. And this year I figured out I have a good handful of students with accommodations that have double time. Um, so everybody's needs are getting met without me having to call out, you know, Jimmy gets, you know, 12 minutes while Sophia only has six minutes or whatever it might be. I think giving the Apple exam this year, the students definitely had that preparation of, I have to type my answer and move along. Um, and the recordings too, they got really comfortable, the voice recordings, they got really comfortable. The whole class um, would go at once and, got over their anxiety of if somebody's listening to me. And because everybody's going at the same time, um, they didn't have that, you know, senior, can I do this after school? Can I do this privately? Um, and when it came time to give the apple, that was a non-issue, which was perfect. Um, and I have classes of um, 24 was my biggest class this past year, but I did not have problems hearing people. 
Um, I let them use their earbuds if they wanted to, um, but if they didn't, um, their devices worked well enough that even though I might hear neighbors if they were kind of close, I could still tell um, who was speaking. The students overall have been positive. You know, the first time they are a little more anxious and nervous because they haven't used it. So that's, I usually do as a low stress. We're doing this for the experience, not for a grade. Um, and I think how you present it to the students and how you set them up and practice before you're getting hardcore grades with them or letting them fly solo with a substitute teacher is really important. And setting up those expectations of you only eventually when you're ready for it, you only have two shots at this and I can reset it or nope, this is it where it's only one shot. The students have um, not complained about it. The, the only thing, if the Wi-Fi is not good in our building, you know, that's always, but that's a school thing, not an extemporary, but we have workarounds and, you know, a teacher always has plan B and C in their back pocket. Um, so I honestly, I get less complaints, um, probably zero complaints actually with extemporary as to when I was using Flip or Flipgrid. Um, yeah. And I, I think the fact that they can just do the voice recording and not have to do a video, um, that's usually how I set it up, um, is a little more comforting to them. We have a lot of challenges with technology for better or for worse. Uh, it is sometimes offering um, kids, you know, more ways to cheat the system, if you will. They want that easy out. And with extemporary, I find it to be user-friendly. Um, and uh, it just gets the job done in a short amount of time. Everybody can get their assignment done um, in a few minutes, and then we still have all that class time um, for continuing instructional resources.